I'm Mike Stanton. It's April 12th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Market Says. Chris, thanks for taking some time this week. Thanks, Mac. Uh, so last week's uh, report was right after a strong jobs report. We were looking ahead to inflation numbers this week. Uh, CPI was uh, stronger than expected, higher reading on inflation. PPI was uh, right in line with expectations, maybe a little bit weaker. How did the market add it all up? Yeah, so the inflation data, like you said, was a little bit um, higher than expectations. So that has really caused some strategists and market participants to push out their rate cut estimates for this year. Um, there's still some division across the street to whether it's going to be two or three cuts this year in 2024. 2024. Uh, so we'll wait to see what happens there. And in the muni market, we saw yields continuing to move higher. Some of that was just follow over as the muni market tends to be a little slower than the treasury market to adjust to last week's data, but it was also a response to this week's data. And uh, the heavy calendar is still weighing on munis, right? Right. So um, municipals really outperformed treasuries this week. Um, muni rates were higher, anywhere from four to eight basis points across the curve where treasuries were up 13 to 25, depending on where you're focused. So there was heavy outperform outperformance there. Um, overall bid wanted activity this week and buying activity was roughly flat week over week, but there was a big uptick yesterday, um, anywhere from 30 to 40%, depending on where you're looking. Um, but today we expect to see activity be relatively muted. And on the uh, demand side, we did see fairly solid inflows to muni mutual funds this week, 400 million. And that stands out a little bit even more so because this is a time of year where you expect to see some outflows tied to uh, tax uh, payments uh, due on Monday the 15th. Right. And this week, you know, the calendar was relatively big. So I think that those inflows were um, digested pretty easily. Um, a lot of the activity this week, there was a $9.3 billion calendar, but it was very focused on some larger issuers. We saw both Cornell and Harvard issue this week along with some sizable deals for the state of California and the state of Kentucky. And the BAM insured calendar was a fairly healthy uh, percentage of that overall uh, new business this week, uh, $550 million of new issues, also led by a higher education uh, transaction from the public sector. What, did, uh, what stood out to you? Right, so like you said, there's 550 million price this week for BAM. That was 18 series across nine states. Um, the largest deal to note is a $210 million deal across two series for the University of Oklahoma that Barclays priced. And then J.P. Morgan priced an $86 million Midland Hospital District in Texas. Uh, this deal came to market was very, very well received, where yields tightened, uh, worst initial estimate. So that was a, a great result for BAM. Great. Thanks for your time this week, Chris. We'll all talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.